Jason Watson. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Pasadena. I am weird looking, huh? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm from uh, Porterville, California. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. It's a lot like here, except uh, more meth and way less teeth. <laughs> way less teeth. Dentists can just retire in my hometown. So, yeah. One thing I like about the tweakers that are in my hometown, if you ever need a DVD player at five in the morning, I know exactly where to get one. Now, granted, it might be one that was stolen from you two years ago, but <laughs> still, you know. <sighs> well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm, uh, I'm a little husky. Just, just a little bit. I'm out of shape. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a husky. Uh, a lot of people tell me, no, you're not out of shape. You're round. Round is a shape. <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> Which is true because round is a shape. Unfortunately, this isn't round. I don't know what the hell this is. I look like a gummy bear that was put on the dashboard of a hot car in the summer, and it just starts to like melt down the front, you know? I, like a, I look like a human lava lamp, basically, <laughs> to the front row. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm so out of shape. I nicknamed my dick John Cena. But that's just because you can't see me. I'm like, yeah. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> I love that joke because it, it gets the room, like it slowly sweeps across the room as everybody gets it, you know? It's like an STD at a trailer park. It starts in one area and then just starts going until we have a CDC disaster on our hands. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to talk a little bit about my family tonight. And just like myself, it's not pretty, but it is real. So I grew up in a crack house. I mean, I know you can't tell <laughs> or anything, but... I grew up in a crack house, and it did, it made me a really, like, angry teenager, older person. I would go to my mom, and I'd be like, like, Mom, like, why? Why did I have to grow up in a crack house? Why? Of all things. She's like, stop it. You didn't grow up in a crack house. God. We did meth. <laughs> it's way different. It's really not that different. <laughs> not when you're five years old. Anyway. Uh, but my parents really did want what was best for me at the end of the day. When I was uh, a child, I had trouble reading, so they got me hooked on phonics. <laughs> but now I can't quit. So. <sighs> I'm afraid they're going to find me passed out in a hotel room one day. And fucking dictionaries all over the place. And <laughs> I'm slamming a thesaurus into my arm. Just Hooked on phonics didn't work for me, folks, unfortunately. But I don't know if you could tell, I'm sober now. Yeah, no drugs. No, thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rooting for my destruction, yeah. Uh, no drugs, no alcohol. The only white powder I mess with is sugar. Yeah, when I go to Starbucks and they ask me how much sugar I want in my coffee, is it weird that I always ask them if I could sample the supply first? <laughs> Put the switchblade out, just put it into the bag. Just. Yeah, that's pure. I'll take two kilos, thank you. Yeah, that's fucking weird. It's not normal, right? <laughs> it really isn't normal. Uh, but, yeah, I'm married somehow. If 
you can believe that. <laughs> Been with my wife now for 15 years. 15 years. And when you're in a long relationship like that, there's a lot of give and take. There's a lot of stuff I've got to do. She's got to do stuff for me she doesn't want to do. I've got to do stuff for her that I don't want to do. And a few weeks ago, we went to a co-ed baby shower. Yeah, it's not the, it's not, baby showers aren't really the funnest place for guys, you know, I mean, but it was okay, right? Like, they have the baby shower games that they play, you know? Like, we got out of the car and they put a, it was like a pacifier necklace, they put on us, oh, you can't say baby. That's part of the game. If you say baby, someone takes your necklace and then you take whoever's necklace if someone said, I don't know what the rules were, I was out back getting high. So anyway, <laughs> it was something along those lines, right? So as the night goes on, you know, and I eat all the food, naturally, you know. Uh, the parents always bring kids, you know, there's babies, there's kids playing everywhere, it's, you know, it's a party. And one of the parents is walking around, she, uh, she misplaced her kid, they're everywhere. She's like, I can't find my kid. I can't find my kid, where's my baby? I walk up to her, snatch her necklace. I'm like, ha ha, you said baby, I win, I win. Uh. I go to my wife, I say, babe, go out to the car, open up the trunk, please give her her baby back, please. Oh God, no, I said it, I lost. Yes, I am terrible. Anyway, uh, my dad passed away about uh, seven, eight years ago. And when he passed away, we got uh, little necklaces made because he was cremated. And each one of the necklaces has a little bit of his ashes in it. Me, my brother, my sister, we all have one, right? And I used to wear it around uh, when I would do comedy shows in a lot of dive bars around my area, which are real shitholes. Anyway, and... I would walk in there and I'd have this little necklace on, you know, and it's a bullet casing is what it is. So we got his ashes put into a bullet casing and it's, you know, it's a really cool memory of him, but every time I go into a bar or any type of social setting, the first thing anybody thinks when I've got this bullet casing around my neck is that I keep like my cocaine or something in there, right? Which is insane because I don't I keep it in my nose, of course. <laughs> That's where everybody keeps their cocaine, right? That's not true. Anyway. So, one night, I'm at this bar, and we're doing comedy. It's over. It was a good show, right? Everybody's drinking at the bar after the show. Guy walks up to me with the same spiel, the same line they always use, what's in the what's, what do you got in the bullet? What do you got in the bullet, right? He reaches out for it, grabs it. I reach out and grab his arm like I'm snatching a piece of pizza, right? He takes the necklace from me which is why you don't see it around my neck tonight. He cracks it open. Mind you, I have never opened this thing. I don't even know if my dad's ashes are actually in here. It could be chalk for all I know. I don't know, right? So he opens it up, puts a big line of it across the bar. He goes, oh, man, fuck this shit. I'm like, ha, ha, he's inside you now. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks a lot, Pasadena. You guys were great. <laughs> <laughs>